Well, Megs, that's a great start. Yes, nice to get a win on the board early for, for confidence, obvious reasons. We didn't start so well this year, so we, you know, chatting. We've had much preparation, like most counties, but um, we tried to do quite a lot of planning in the winter around what our team and dynamics would be. So, um, not perfect by any means, but some really good signs tonight. Obviously, the headline performance there for Jimmy Neesham. You bring overseas players in to, to win matches for you, you know, to win key matches during the season. He's started off with a bang, hasn't he? He has, yeah. He was a little bit disappointed with his last over and he said he was going to make up for it and he, he certainly did. But I think we identified uh, you know, that all round the role we're really missing. Um, someone who can go in and finish innings and set up innings at that 5 6 role, which he's done countless times for New Zealand. So. Um, he did it the other night in the warm-up game and thankfully he's finished the game tonight for us too. You mentioned about finishing the game, the actual fo winning runs. Jack Plum just showed the extremes of fortune in cricket, doesn't it? That uh, over for, for 33, has to be said, he, he conceded it. But, um, you know, um, I guess he was down. Um, he's come off uh, with his confidence and uh, chin up, hasn't he? Yeah, it shows you what a crazy game T20 is. I mean, there were 57 for... None after three overs, you're thinking this could be 200 and anything. And then a great fight back from the guys. Uh, unfortunately, Jack went for 33. I thought he showed great character coming back when he bowled at the death. It would have been easy for Harmy not to bowl him. Uh, but we know that he can strike the ball. Um, you know, he's done it in the second team and that six at the end, uh, he were delighted with. Early uh, Somerset uh, start to the earnings, they were racing away there, that 50 came up in next to no time. But credit Sam Cook, I mean, he came in and put the brakes on, didn't he, with those two wickets? Yeah, Sam and Jamie, uh, Sam got the breakthrough and Jamie followed up. I thought them two were excellent throughout. Uh, we know Somerset are a dangerous team, especially here. Very good team, very good unit, great in the field. Um, so we knew this was going to be a tough game. So, um, you know, as I say, the way we fought back, the character we showed, I thought we were really good in the field, some really good signs, and hopefully we can use this for the rest of the tournament. Yeah, indeed, because I think various periods throughout the game, we had to dig deep for a bit of character. Uh, we weren't never really on top of it until they, well, till certainly Jimmy Neesham made his mark in the game. But until then, I mean, it was it was finely balanced, wasn't it? Yeah, a lot of games are in T20. I mean, a lot of teams are, are so good now. Everyone bats, everyone bowls and fields. So the fine, fine margins, I've stood here many times when we've lost by a few runs and, you know, you can pick a, a few balls which go either way so you've just got to try and find a way and win them tight situations and you know 109 for five I think we were that were a critical part but the, in, the innings there from Jimmy Simon coming in as well uh, I think that was a crucial part of the game and we managed to win that tonight and that ultimately got us the game. You'll think about this when going back on the coach uh, tomorrow morning you wake up and play for the next one which comes on Friday against Hampshire they keep coming thick and fast don't they? It's been a crazy start. I mean, we've been one of the only teams to play nine out of nine in the championship. The guys had uh, two warm-up games on Monday after a championship game, straight into today and um, tomorrow and then in Friday. So it's crazy, but look, I mean, the year everyone's had with COVID, we don't want to moan too much. We're just delighted everyone's back playing cricket. The crowd we're in tonight, which gives everyone a buzz. I know they, they wanted Somerset to win. But uh, it was great to have crowd back in that buzz and uh, hopefully that's a sign of things to come and we can see full houses back pretty soon. And when you're winning, you just want more of it, don't you? Of course, yeah. <laughs> we, we know we've been up and down in this competition. We won it in 2019. Last year weren't so good. We're not the finished article by any means, but um, you know, I think we've got a youngish squad in areas and it's all about confidence. You know, We've just got to keep um, really pumping them with the skills and confidence and uh, encouraging them really to be brave and, and really go out and showcase their own skills.